All right, it's happening. It's happening as we speak. All right, Taylor Hall has been traded to the Arizona Coyotes. And the Devils, if you're wondering why I'm whispering, um, we just brought home a brand new puppy. We just rescued another puppy. And she is sleeping right now. So, okay, I'm gonna have to just use the other computer. And she is sleeping right now. And I do not wish to disturb her because she has been playing with my Coco all day long. And they are pooped and they are very energetic for little puppies. So we are going to switch to my other laptop real quick. Um, I forgot I'll use the pad, okay. So let's break down the trade. Um, Sirius XM Managerial Network just broke the trade. Um, not, they didn't break the trade, they just gave out all the details. I'm gonna give my opinion on the entire trade of the trade. Um, cap friendly, we're just gonna pull up the Coyotes and their cap situation, that's all we're gonna pull up. Um, Twitter is now loading. Going to lead prospects. Ba -ba -ba -ba. <laughs> Someone just tweeted, Shiro traded Taylor Hall for a Rick Nash package, yikes. Yep, and the Coyotes just announced it, Taylor Hall. Alright, so the trade is official. Um... Um, blah, 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 blah. let's see, let's see, let's see. It's a hard first round pick. Okay. I'll make sure I get all the details. I don't wanna, I don't wanna. Don't, I don't, why am I seeing this shit? All right. Um, LeBron is saying it's two first round picks instead of a first and a third. So we shall see. Wouldn't be surprised if one's like a. Guarantee once a conditional or something. That's what I'm going to guess. Um, okay. All right. So here's what it is, right? So let me pull up all the... Let me, you know, I'm not even going to pull it off Elite Prospects. I'm going to pull it off HockeyDB because Elite Prospects, great website, and I love using it, but it's so slow. It is so freaking slow. Um, all right. Nick Merkley... I wonder if HockeyDB already has a trade pulled. No. Merkley, um, Kevin Ball, and um, there's one more. Where was that? Who was that last kid? How was my stomach? Um, Nate Schnarr. Hell of a name. he pulls up okay make sure I got everything I need okay um, we got that pulled up and scroll make sure nothing else broke on the trade okay so the devil's do retain 50% of Hall's salary I'm sure a lot of that has to do with the Coyotes really kind of in a bind for cap space right now and the the devil's probably be uh, probably being pretty close to the cap floor um, if you go underneath the cap floor, you need to spend more money. Okay, so it's a conditional first and a conditional third. Now, the conditional third can come uh, become a first-round pick if Hall resigns or the Coyotes get past the first round of the playoffs. Then it's two first-round picks. Um, oh, wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. One second, Elliot Friedman just tweets something out different. Now. Okay. So a conditional, a guaranteed first, a conditional third. If if Hall resign, resigns or the Yotes win around becomes a second round pick. If both of those situations happen, it becomes a first. So they could get two first round picks out of them. So that alone, two first round picks is pretty good. Because uh, the Devils right now, they want to build that prospect pool. They're in the middle of a rebuild. They're finally committing to it. Um, God, that team's going to be a wagon. All right. Uh, Nick Merkley, 30th overall pick in 2015. He's 22 years old. He's going to be 23 in May. He's played one NHL game. He's got 16 points in 26 AHL games this season. Not really much to write home about this kid. He really has not done very much. Um, yikes. Hey, you never know. Maybe he'll develop into, like, a something. Maybe maybe a change of scenery will be good for him. All right, right now, I put I put Merkley as, like, a, like a B-minus prospect still. 
Uh, Kevin Ball, I've heard nothing but good things about. Um, 20 points in 28 OHL games. He's 19 years old, former second-round pick. From what I understand, this kid's like a BB-plus prospect, uh, just from what I've read about him online. A little bit of research I've done on him. And Nate Schnarr is a 20-year-old, former third-round pick. He had 102 points with Guelph Storm last year of the OHL. 34 goals, 68 assists. He's got 9 points in 22 games with the Tucson Roadrunners in the AHL uh, with 23 PIMS, too. Um, he did lead Guelph with all those points. So it's so not like he was doing it himself. It's like he was kind of doing it himself. So he's a good player. Um, good. Okay. I, I'm not going to lie to you. I kind of like the trade for both sides. Because the Devils, instead of getting one giant prospect in a first round pick, like a Soderstrom or a Barrett Hayton, which I don't think they would have been able to get anyways, um, for Taylor Hall, they got, they got a quantity of medium low high quality prospects because like look if you're the devils right now you have Hishier, hughes and ty smith those are some pretty solid pieces to build around you got some freaking those are those are three studs you absolutely can build around and if you put smaller pieces around them like like if merkley becomes a good if merkley becomes a three seat behind hughes and and um and and he share that's not that's not bad you you don't want freaking you don't want uh merkley to come in and be you know have he share or Hughes do so bad that uh, Merkley becomes a 2C or the 1C. You don't want that. You want him to be a good 3C, which is what I think he's going to be. Kevin Bull uh, seems like a pretty good defensive defenseman. Um, so I guess that, that's good. I mean, I don't know much about him. I just know he's pretty highly touted at the moment. And that um, that Schneer dude looked all right. <sighs> he, might be, excuse me, he might be a guy kind of like a Jesper Faust or um, a Cal Yonkroak type player that can play up and down the lineup, play anywhere. Um, and do it just a little bit of everything, which it's never bad to have those types of players. So I actually kind of like this trade for the for the Devils. This is coming from a Ranger fan because they're they're getting and they're gonna if they get two first round picks too. That's that's two B to A level prospects. That's re, that's freaking awesome. And who and who knows what the Coyotes? Who knows what they're gonna be next year? You know, Kessel's gonna be thirty three next year. Stepan's gonna be thirty. So we'll see. Um, but right now the Yotes are looking pretty sick. I mean, dude, Kess could you imagine Schmaltz, Kessel, and Hall on a top line? It's not even fair. That's, like, too much speed. They got Hall, Schmaltz, and Grabner, and Henestroza, just bu and Keller, just buzzing around. Connor Garland. The Coyotes are going to be a fucking fast team, man. H hop on the Yotes wagon. I'm liking this team for both. I'm liking this trade for both teams. I dig it. This is going to be good. I like a trade for both teams. I think I think both teams are getting exactly what they want. I don't think there's a clear win of this trade. Now, with that being said, if the Coyotes do not re-sign Taylor Hall, this is going to be a tough loss for them because they're giving up some quality. They're giving up a quantity of quality prospects and a first-round pick guaranteed and potentially another first-round pick. Well, it wouldn't be another first-round pick, but but still, even, even if it's just the package now with a third, not a first or a second, it's a pretty good package for, you know, 50 games, 60 games. So hopefully for the Yotes' sake, Taylor Hall resigns and uh, the Yotes become a real wagon. Let me let me know what, uh, what you guys think about I can't talk to them. I'm freaking exhausted. Let me know what you guys think about this trade in the comments down below. Let me, think, uh, let me know what you think about just all things everything. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Hopefully next time I record, I'll be able to talk a little bit better. It's been a long day. I didn't realize how hard two dogs were going to be.